What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we're doing another emergency One UI beta video. We're broadcasting live from my bathroom once again. I woke up this morning trying to get ready for my day job and surprise, Samsung has launched the One UI 6.0 beta 2. So of course I wanted to try to be one of the first to get up a video for you guys talking about some of the key changes and also letting you guys know it was there because I just made a video yesterday saying it was delayed. So I wanted to let everybody in on the good news. So um, first of all, let's take a quick look at the change log. So we go in here, go down to software update, last update. You can see I installed it August 31st at 8.05. That is 14 minutes ago as of the recording of the video, because you see it's 8.19. Uh, One UI 6.0 version ZWH0 is the uh, version number. The update was 1605.87 uh, megs, September 1st security patch, of course. Um, I'm going to go over some of the highlights, just actually just looking through the change log, and then I'll actually show them to you guys. Not going to go super in-depth in this video. Of course, I'll make some follow-up videos going over the really big features, and there are a couple of them here. So there's been some new changes to Samsung Health. I wouldn't see anything huge there. There's been a change in the camera app where you can now turn off, swipe up, or down to switch cameras. Some people are concerned because if you, a lot of times you'll swipe up or down to switch cameras, and then, of course, what will happen is you'll accidentally trigger it. You didn't really mean to do it. So you can turn that off. I'll show you guys what that is. This is a really huge new feature, which I'm going to make an in-depth video on. Studio is a new video editing application for your Samsung Galaxy phone that allows you to import bigger projects, edit bigger projects, do things with audio, transitions, really cool stuff. Um, for those of us who are creators like myself, it's going to be a really big update uh, opportunity for you to edit more with your Samsung phone or even your Samsung tablet, um, like your Tab S9 Ultra. Samsung Pass got some status for sign-ins with pass keys. I'll probably make a fault video about that too. The quick panel got a huge change where now the notification appears as a separate card, making it easier to recognize, but also the icons look the same as the app icons that appear on your home and app screens. So you can recognize where the notification came from. I'll show you guys that in a second. And then there's a bunch of additions of drag and drop with two hands. Start dragging items on your home screen with one hand. Use them to navigate where you want to drop them on the other hand. We knew this was coming with the One UI 6.0 update, and now it's finally arrived. Um, they also integrated the trash with the gallery, so the files and the trash for gallery are in the same spot. Um, and you can do some things with the calendar and the browser with two hands. They've also squashed a bunch of bugs, and they introduced one other feature that I talked about in a previous video where we thought it was going to be in the first beta, but now it's back, and I'll show you guys that as well. So let's quickly go over the changes. So first of all, the quick panel change. You can see very clearly here, they've now got these laid out a little bit nicer where the icon actually shows up here right next to the notification. This is now the icon that's on your home and app screen. And because it's a separate card with that separate icon, it really makes it easier to read. I personally like this change. Some people may not. We'll see how people feel about it. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments section. Inside the camera application, if you go to photo, go to settings, the new feature is right here. Swipe up, down to switch cameras. You can turn it on or off. I personally like that feature because it's an easy way to switch between the selfie camera and the rear camera. And it's something that, you know, doesn't bother me. But some people, again, feel like they trigger that on accident. And if you do trigger that on accident, it's definitely certainly worth um, going in and turning turning that feature off. Now, this the studio video editor, you can just find this searching in your app tray. You'll see the new icon is right there, studio. And if you open it, this is where you can start new projects by importing videos that you have. And you can see there's lots of fun settings just to kind of play around with here. This is the first version of it, 6.0.09.0. Obviously the first version of it for One UI 6.0. So it starts with 6.0. Again, I'm gonna make a full video on this, but this is gonna be a huge deal for those of us who are content creators, those of us who want to kind of edit on your Samsung S23 Ultra, or your Tab S9 Ultra, etc. Now, the other change, which we were hoping to see in the previous beta, the very first one, we were told that it was there, but it ended up not being there, is predictive back um, gestures. So if you go into developer options and we search for it, I actually showed this in my first beta video, you search for predictive um, back animations and developer options, you could turn it on, so it's right down here. Uh, this basically allows you to see where you're going to go when you go swipe back with gestures. And we could turn it on the first version, but it wasn't actually working. Now it works. So now if you go into an app like Twitter and you navigate, you know, page deep, when you swipe, you'll see the arrow showing me where I'm going. You see the arrow right there? That is the predictive back animation. 
So it only works in apps that support them, but a lot of updates uh, have been made to popular apps to support predictive back animations because Android 14 was always going to incorporate this as a main feature. And so that is the reason uh, why that is there. Now, one thing that they didn't do, which we're hoping to see in this update, is if you go into Bixby text call, you can see uh, they have not added the custom greeting feature yet that I talked about in the previous video. So that has not been done. I also don't feel like the animations are a lot different and not really necessarily a lot smoother. They just look a little bit smoother because, you know, I did a clean boot on the phone when I installed, I cleared the cache and everything. But I don't feel like they're much improved. I know people are going to want to ask about that. One other thing they did fix just right out of the gate. In the last version, you were allowed to move your clock anywhere on the screen. That was a new feature of One UI 6.0 Beta 1. But it wouldn't actually work. You could preview it and then it wouldn't work on the always on display or the lock screen. You can see I moved my clock a little bit off center not perfectly centered. I did that on purpose to see if it'll actually work and stick, and it does. So now you can move your clock anywhere you want on your always on display uh, or your lock screen, and it does actually show up when you make the change. So anyway, those are some changes right out of the gate. It's here, it's available in the US. Go download it, play with it. It seems a little more stable, at least in the first beta. I haven't had any crashes yet, so that's always a good thing for sure. I'll definitely follow up with a full video on the video studio and of course any other hidden changes that I notice after I wake up today because I'm not fully awake. Uh, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, hit the um, subscribe notification button, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.